thought I'd do a paint of the river white today. So I'm just starting off as usual, just give it a good coating of water. This will stop the paper from crinkling. And get some nice soft edges in the distance. Um, just dipping the tips of the brush in there just to keep the hair together. And a uh, raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow as well. Very high horizon line on this one. In fact, it's, it's going to be right there. So you're hardly going to, I'm, I'm not really going to bother much with the sky. Um, just put a hint of some blue up there. Just a little bit. That will do. Now, right at the very top. So, I'm same three colours, but leaning towards blue. Just got like a little something up there. Pretty faint, you can't really see much. Something like that. Just mixing the same three colours together. So we're sort of looking at sort of greeny, greeny type thing. You know, I'm just flicking the brush up like that. Same three colours. Just flicking it up. It's just a little bit of variety in there, a bit of raw sienna. Flicking it like that, just makes it get the sort of tree top effect. Just makes it look a bit more like trees. And that comes right down. Not much detail at least. That's the sort of far, far trees right away in the distance. So coming forward slightly. It's just the brush is going a little bit dry, so I've just dipped the tips in just to loosen it up a bit, loosen the paint up. Let's add a little bit of uh, white red, lemon yellow, and then we've got a tree, just, just, well, a whole group of trees really, just a bit, bit lower down, a bit of Payne's grey just to darken it slightly. Coming a bit closer into the foreground, or middle distance rather. I'm just doing pretty strong there. Just going to dip the tips in just to loosen it again. A bit more. Lemon yellow, ultramarine, a bit of pine's grey. And then this time I'm coming. Why not darker? Much darker. So that's that a little bit lighter there. I'm just going to dab that with a tissue. Just to lighten that because this is going to have more of a foreground tree there. So I just want it to, the profile to stand out a bit more. That's not going to happen if the photo is not right there. So you should get a bit more variation because it's just all green. So I'm just going to give it a light red. Light red. Bit of burnt on back. 
bit of mud on the far shore. Just pull this paper because it's stretched slightly. Let's put a few like individual little twigs and branches and tree trunks and whatnot. Just you can use a rigger for this if you want, but it's, uh, it's a lot quicker with the eye. I'll do, just give the impression that there's some summit there. Right then, let's do this uh, this one on this side now. Now I want nice, this is the strongest bit of uh, green there's going to be, so I want it, I want to just maximise the contrast now. So I want maximum amount of paint, minimum water. So I want this really dark now, really dark, rich green. And it's going to go something like like that. See why I lighten that bit round there, just to help it stand out a bit better. A bit of red, just to alter it slightly. A bit of lemon yellow. It's got a bit dry, so I'll just dip the tips in the water. Yes. Just put this shoreline where this is coming down. A bit of burnt umber. Again, it's just got a few little rocks in there. It's just so tempting. So easy to overdo it. Just can't help it. A few tweaks, so I've got just enough water to hold the hairs together, that's all there is. Um, it's pretty dark so they're not going to stand out so much. You can always flick a few in with your nail if you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bit of all these colours, a little bit, a bit of everything, and then sort of, sort of lean it towards blue. And then, if you imagine, it's just, I'm just going to do a quick sweep. So I want the uh, I want the paint to break. So it looks as if there's um. Uh, like rapids type of thing. It's clean the brush, it's all gone very, very muddy, dry. Don't want much water on there. Let's just give a bit of a 
ultramarine. Lemon yellow in there, so just reflecting those colours. And then now I've done that, I just want to re strengthen the banks a little bit. I've got lost light there amongst the water. So I'm just going to, I'm trying to get a dark colour on, I'm just getting burnt umber, ultramarine. Again, just so it stands out a bit better, and I'll put the water in. Just a, just a little, little figure. Someone fishing. On the shoreline. I think I'll call that one finished. I think. Um, just looking for the dry bit to put me nine. Ooh, made a slight mess there, not so worried. Let's go in and have a closer look at it. So this is our finished painting. Um, very little sky, very high horizon line, distant hills right at the top there. And then not much detail in the distant trees. And then just try to strongly, to slightly sort of increase the tone as we get closer and closer. Using the, the height to put in some branches and trunks as well as the rocks here along the uh, far shoreline. Make sure the distant and the distant trees there were lighter so that the closer tree profile would stand out more. And again, a bit more uh, chisel edge hike work, doing the twigs and branches and a bit of fingernail. A few more rocks on the shoreline. And then got our fishermen there. Slightly underwhelmed to be honest with you. Uh, I think I could have done a Bit of a better job with this to be it really. Um, water just put in very simply using a lot of the uh, same colours, a little bit of blue there and green reflection in some of the, the trees and then where the uh, paint's broke it just looks like the uh, sort of rapid surfy bits on the, the water as it sweeps around the corner. Well thanks for watching, keep practicing, any questions please ask. I'll see you again soon.